Princess Michael of Kent, the wife of the Queen's first cousin Prince Michael, joined other members of the firm at the Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall on Saturday evening. This marked her first attendance at a key royal public event in months. In November 2020, it was reported Princess Michael had been diagnosed with COVID-19 and was self-isolating at her apartment in Kensington Palace. Her spokesman said at the time, Princess Michael of Kent's housekeeper fell ill three weeks ago and HRH was immediately tested and was found to be positive for COVID. She and her husband Prince Michael have remained in isolation at Kensington Palace ever since. Prince Michael did not test positive, sharing a new update on the royal's health a few days later, the spokesman revealed coronavirus had affected Princess Michael with fatigue and regular fevers. He said, the princess is on the mend. She got it three weeks ago but shush is getting better. Shush is over the worst. She suffered extreme fatigue and had regular fee. A few months later, it was reported the royal had fallen ill with blood clot. Princess Michael is the third member of the royal family known to have had coronavirus since the beginning of the pandemic. Both Prince Charles and Prince William caught the virus during the first wave of infection in the spring of 2020. Princess Michael, who is the mother of Lord Frederick and Lady Gabriella Windsor, was first pictured in public since the beginning of the pandemic in late May, when she attended a private charity event in London. Notably, she was not at Wimbledon in July, an appointment she rarely misses. But she appeared in high spirits in September, when she attended the opening of the Chelsea Flower Show. The Festival of Remembrance marked the first major royal event she has attended in more than a year. At the poignant show, which this year celebrated also the 100th anniversary of the Royal British Legion, Princess Michael was in the company of her husband. The pair aren't working royals and don't carry out engagements on behalf of the Queen. However, they regularly take part in major royal celebrations and events such as Trooping the Colour. Alongside Prince and Princess Michael, all the full-time working royals in the firm supporting the crown with their engagements were in attendance yesterday. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, were the most senior members of the firm at the event, as the Queen remained at Windsor Castle to rest, in accordance with her doctor's advice. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, also headed to the Royal Albert Hall, as did the Wessexes and Princess Anne. Four more first cousins of the Queen also watched live the splendid festival of remembrance, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. A few hours after the festival, all the working royals came together once again to mark Remembrance Sunday at the Cenotaph. While Buckingham Palace had announced on Thursday the Queen would be in attendance, it said earlier today the monarch had suffered a back injury which made it impossible for her to attend. A statement read, the Queen, having sprained her back, has decided this morning with great regret that she will not be able to attend today's Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. Her Majesty is disappointed that she will miss the service.